back, man. Head to the car show right now. But we got one stop to make, which is the mansion rally. So what happens is, guys, you pull to the mansion, but everyone's in their cars. You do a meet and greet, and then from there, you all head to the actual car show as a rally. It's funny, because every time I go to this, these car shows, guys, like, either my, my McLaren broke down, I woke up late, I had stuff to do. Like, I always had, like, a bad situation why I can never make it to the car show. I hope this motivates you, inspires you. Let's get it. Those are huge, man. Like, this, this should be inspiration to you. Inspiration. Look at this house. Why can't you have one? Do you want one? Do you actually want one? Look at these cars here, guys. It's like... car shows guys is one for networking but two for inspiration and thirdly you guys like if you're not motivated to get what you want out of life what are you really doing i mean look you got one life to live i say this all the time however are you gonna enjoy it or not enjoy it it's up to you i figured out guys really early you know what if i'm here on this earth i want to enjoy it at least for a little bit Banks, as you already know, he came on the podcast, killed this, did his thing, but at the same time, one of the best traders that I know personally. What's new with you, bro? What's new um, with you? man, it's life, man. You know what I'm saying? Just go, go through each day, day by day. Yeah. You know, trying to enjoy it the best of my ability. You know? Yeah. Let me say this, right? So <clears throat> I'm in the car going to Target. I see this guy in a blue Ferrari pull up. I'm like, that gotta be cute. He followed me to Target and gave me some <laughs> good ass advice about trading, man. And now. I'm on the right track, so shout I, out to you, bro. I think it's because I try to put all my boys on investing in some kind of way, you know what I'm saying? Like, take the skill and actually just, you know, make it a part of your life in some kind of way. Like, depending on, like, no matter, like, if you're into something else, you can always apply trading and just, like, make your life a bit more, you know, elevated. more lavish and yeah. elevated, you know? So, I think so you might, might get me, like, 10K in, like, what, three months? Which is crazy, bro. Yeah. So, shout out to y'all, man, because, yeah, appreciate you, listen, man. I was skeptical at first, but, all best are off, bro. It does work. But yo, could you show us your cars real quick? Like, tell us what you did to it. Yeah, this this shit's are sick, bro. One of two today. I could have brought three, but it's all good. <laughs> I need another driver. Humble brag. But this right here is my um 2020 um Ferrari 812 and Largo. It's only 18 of these inside the entire world. Um, as you can see, look at the rims, blue. The wheels have the champagne color. Um, made by Velos Design Works. Um, blue interior. Didn't know was coming. Beautiful spec. Very very beautiful spec. Then you have my. 2017 Lamborghini SV. Um, as you can see, it's beautiful yellow. Again, Bellos Design Works wheels. Um, interior is pretty sick, also. And yeah, bro. I like fast cars, so <laughs> I brought two out. And yeah, just to enjoy the day and shit. So. Oh, car tips, right? I'm in the market for a new Lamborghini, but at the same time, you know what? Here's a, here's a better bet, bro. Just tell me your SV, SV right here, bro. Just Never. Me. <laughs> Never. <laughs> it's worth a try. So, so but, first um, of all, I see his wheels on a, a Huracan. Trust me, I do not want this car to have that kind of abuse. What the? <laughs> bro. <laughs> okay, I'm not a room guy, bro. I'm not a wheel guy, okay? But no, I do understand. No, the tires are done. You didn't hear that from me. That was from him. No. mansion spot um so we're all going to the car event right now uh, so it's normally located in pember gardens on the second of every month the saturday um so as you can see these houses are really nice guys but really inspiring i'm not gonna lie man if i was a family man definitely i won't, I won't want one of these but uh we just left q and m when i first came to america the first cars that i saw were lambos I was like, hey man, like, what do you guys do? And he's like, yo, pull up to car, Supercar Saturdays. You know, you can see all the cars. So I was like, okay, dope. And I was like, maybe like five minutes away from that location. So like, the next Saturday, they had a, the show. I showed up and I didn't have much value to, to give to people. But I knew the more, the more I was around them, the more I will learn. I say, you may not have value up front per se, but guess what? You ask questions, you ask what people do, and they might tell you. For example, Cassie right now, right? He's a videographer and a photographer. So he said to me before, real fresh, bro. These, these events are cool, but like, I don't have any value to bring. Yes, you do, because guess what? These people that have these cars want footage. So you're valuable in that sense. So I say that to say, guys, you may not know your value inherently, but if you look at what you're really, really good at and how it can apply to like cars, lifestyle, 
you never know. So car events, guys, good for networking, meeting people. Um, so go in, go in there, try to add value, so you can help out, and you never know, they may be able to help you in return. Guys, so I'm pulling up to the car show, and five years ago, I didn't have my own car, but I had a dream and ambition. And now we're here, finally parking my Lambo at the car show. And you know what? I'm part of the big boys now, I'm part of the group. So it happened, guys. It made it possible. We're here at Supercar Saturdays. All the cars here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This one here has my heart. You know why? Because my first nine by one to buy was a Garrido. But we skipped that, we bought the Evo. Hey, we're gonna at the same time, the so, yeah, like, it's inspiring because uh, for Lamborghinis, man, it's a staple. No, no. And this is Batman's car right, right here. Now. But regardless of the fact, guys, let's walk around, see some more cars, and I got y'all, man. If you remember, I had a blue McLaren, right? Similar to this one here. I came to the car show. Before I even got here, the car broke down. I'm like, bro, are you serious? I spent all night preparing for this car show. I pull up, I'm like, maybe like 10, three blocks away car breaks down i'm like bro only mclaren's man they're sexy as hell they have hella problems bro so it's like a hot chick that's that's hot but hard to maintain so just keep that in mind from mclaren's my guy ford is here man listen bro this will be possible for the floyd by the way awesome guy genuine very good energy where can i find you brother what do you do I'm Floyd Bragg, I'm the promoter and producer of Supercar Saturdays Florida. Exotics on the point, November 13th. Register www.exoticsonthesoldiers.com. But yeah, appreciate everybody coming out. Thank you guys, man. It's always good no seeing you, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Guys, some backstory. So this is Martha Nobles right here, guys. I will come every single weekend to study books here about self-development. And back in back then, bro, I keep really even the four books, but I come read them as much as I can before I got kicked out. And Martha Nobles was nice enough to say, you know what? You come here all the time, they give me like a little break. My first book was Secrets of the Millionaire Mindset by T. Harv Ecker. Guys, that book changed my life. The mindset shift was insane. So I say that to say, guys, like, but at the very beginning, you gotta read books or audio books because it helps you grow and expand your mindset. And look, guys, everybody here with these cars, I'm telling you right now, has read either a book or this is an audio book or had a mentor to help them get to where they are right now. So guys, very important guys, if you're at the bottom, you wanna get your way up, read books, develop, uh, develop yourself, and always remember guys, never stop learning, all right? Let's go. So here's what I would actually do in certain bars and nobles, right? I'll get one of these like magazines, right? I'll get the book that I actually want to read, come to this section, put it in the middle, and read the book as much as I, as much as I could. It sounds crazy, guys, but like, nice. I know, bro. But like, I wanted to read, bro. I, I couldn't really buy books. Because my first time here in America, bro, I didn't know about tolls. And my first couple months, I was paying tolls, and all my money was going to tolls, bro. So it was tough. Anyhow, but yeah, that's what I would do. I'll put the book inside here, read a little bit. they are like, hey, sir, uh, can I help you? Oh, no, I'm just reading this book this, this real quick. And then they'd be like, hey, you've been here too long. You got to go. And then we, we became cool with the manager and then it worked out. Networking one-on-one. -on -one. But regardless of the fact, guys, like you gotta start somewhere. So I see that to say, these books in here, guys, can change your life. But guess what? Some of you focus on the wrong things. You focus on a relationship with a girl that doesn't care about you. You focus on partying and having fun. Bro, if you're not where you wanna be, why are you partying? What are you celebrating? Ta-da, nothing. So my name is German. I'm from Argentina, but live here in South Florida. Uh, right now, working nine to five, but trying to strive for that night. Um, that freedom. How'd you find the podcast? Uh, from my little brother, actually. Yeah. My little brother, Jeremy, over there looking at the Ferraris and stuff. Um, but I seen the first po podcast and I fell in love with it. Like, the information these guys give out and all the teaching they give us is like great. It's love, man. Uh, it's love, bro. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you three books I recommend for you right now. This one right here, Imagine Thinking Big. Excellent book, guys. I recommend it all the way. Second book you should read is How to Win Friends and Influence People. Guys, networking is very important, but you need Guess what? Skills for being social because if you don't have that, guys, you're gonna suffer. So, very important book. All right, guys, on third book, this, yo, this is an absolute, absolute must. Absolute must, guys. You need this book 100%. The Ethical Slut. So, this book, right, teaches you how to be a. <laughs> just kidding. Um, no, real talk, though. Real talk, guys, my third book is gonna be this one here The Game of Life. Listen, guys, there's a game being played here on both sides. If you don't know how to play the game, you're not gonna win at life. So, that's what it is. Get this book, learn how to play the game so you can win. All right, there you go. It's not for me, bro. It's pumpkin spice. It's not for me, okay? Just so you know. 
So our dads are like very successful. We don't like the goofy girls, like the little girls. We're like 16, 17. You're 16? Yeah. He's 16 also. Bro, <laughs> yeah. I play football every day. Um, he doesn't really see. Uh, six, 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 seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm like six, four, six, five. I'm a midget, bro. God damn. So, yeah. so go ahead. And we we just wanted to act like for our age and like we're just like 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 basically trying to make it. Should we like 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 mess with the groovy girls or like, like what should we do? So here's my here's my take on it, right? You need experience, but don't wipe them up. So for example, like. Obviously, you know, go out, have fun, yeah. do your thing. Yeah. But like, but like no, guys, don't have kids, by the way. Don't have kids. I'm just kidding. But um, no, just like, experience it, bro. Have fun. Yeah. But just you know what it is. Yeah. Like, bro, you know that you don't want them. Yeah. You know that you got bigger goals to achieve. Yeah. So when you're free time, when you finish working on your stuff, yeah. and you're finished with school, whatever, yeah. or training, yeah. you got for spare time. You know what? All right, thotty, pull up, yeah. vibe a little bit, and then all right, I, I got work to do, and then dip. Yeah. Nigga, you got you got a bust nut. Yeah. <laughs> you got to live life, right? Cool. Yeah. So enjoy it. Yes, sir. And then the ones you actually like, take seriously and actually put time into it. Yes, sir. That's it. Yes, sir. But put work, put work first, though. All right. Yes, sir. All right, brother. Yes, sir. You know, you know what? He said, sir. I feel old as hell. Get out of here, <laughs> dude. How many cars do you have? Four. Four. <clears throat> What's your? I want to say like most favorite and then least favorite car. <clears throat> My Rolls Royce for the luxury dinners. Okay. The SV. SV. For speed racing. I got my Escalade all blacked out. That's my daily driver. Mm -hmm. Then I have a G Wagon. So I met him back in the day when I had no cars at all. I was broke, trying to work my way up, and now I have four cars as well. That's what's up. I've been, 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 been watching you, bro. Thanks, I like bro. Thanks, man. bro. Congrats, bro. man. Respect, this man. guy, guy, Fresh Prince CEO, is amazing, guys. He is super awesome. And I have so much respect and appreciation for him. Hey, guys. I met this guy a while ago at the club. How'd you find the podcast and what's new? So I found the podcast because of Devin Samuels. So I've been watching for a little while now. He was like, yo, bro, every oh, day or so I watch this video, it helps me a lot. And I was like, what video are you talking about? The video at the top, I watch that video every single Monday. And in, like Fresh says, there's some people that complain about their lives and don't do anything about it. But then there's some people that wake up and go and make the change. So I started living my life off that. My life is way better now than it was even a year ago. And I'm a pilot. I teach people how to fly. And I'm about to teach Fresh how to fly. Guys, if I die, blame him, okay? You're gonna make a whole fault. vlog about it, Cassie. You coming too, nigga? You don't get away from this, you're coming too. So we'll see what happens, alright? Alright, brother, much love. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Sure. Great day today, guys. Met some people, did some networking, but the car show's over right now. We're heading back to the crib. Listen, man, get outside, leave your bedroom. Go make connections, and you never know who you're gonna meet. If you got some content, some value from this, from this content, like the video, sub to the channel because I'm adding value every single day to you guys. I'm coming outside, networking, show you guys the behind the scenes. Like the video, sub to the channel, 100 count away, let's go. Add value wherever you go, guys. So once again, guys, see you, see you gang. Stay fast, stay humble. Peace. guys so this is the corner where all the cars come after the car show and it's like speed off from this like light right here so I'm gonna do my speed off you feel me just show them some love